It's crazy to think that in just a few short weeks, the office has completely changed. To remind you, this is what my inspiration was for the room. I wanted it to have a lot of neutrals so that throughout the year I can change up the colors and the decor style. Now the before needed a lot of love and I cannot wait to show you everything I have done here in this video. Now don't forget I'm not doing this room of the month makeover by myself. I have teamed up with several other talented YouTubers who are making over a room in their home. There is going to be a link down below because this is a hop where you click on one link to the next girl and then she'll give you the link to the next girl. It's so much better than a playlist because you just move along so much quicker and you can be able to just see what you like and watch what you want. Now let's take a closer look at the before. This room was majorly lacking storage space and I knew we could fix that. It had a desk that was a corner desk. I wasn't a fan of that and I needed to fix that because I wanted better, you know, desk space to work at. And then the lighting was just something that needed to be updated. Now one of the things we worked on this last week was installing this new light. I love it. It has been so great. I'm going to link everything down below. And thanks to my husband who was willing to install the light and also help me figure out the shelf spacing that we needed so that I can get in there and organize all the things with pretty boxes and supplies. All right, here is the big reveal. I will say my favorite things about this room is that it just, it feels like it has a personality now. It feels like it's cohesive with our living room, our dining room and kitchen area. And I love that it has so much more storage now. It has made me so happy to have this space to work in. And when we open our front door, we no longer have people walking into my junk drawer, like I said in the last video. Now, if you don't know, I redid our piano a year ago. I used chalk paint. I'm going to link that video down below if you're interested. But this piano was handed down to us from a church friend that was moving away. Now, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button because there are so many more mini room makeovers and room of the months that are coming up this year in 2020. Make sure you stay to the end of this video so you find out what is the next space I'm going to be redoing in my home. We're gonna start with the left side of the office and on top of the piano, I have this newel. It's the end of a staircase post that I painted white, put a hook on it, and I love hanging wreaths and seasonal things on it. I also placed this little house that I thrifted and updated and I just think they look so cute on top of the piano. It's very welcoming and warm. And then at the bottom of the piano where the legs are, I have a little basket so we can put more music books in there and just have more storage in that place to keep it nice and organized. To the left of the piano, I have a frame that has our family's pictures, a lamp, and then above the piano, I repurposed the re-existing art that I have there. I do still want to put a picture of the Savior up there, but I haven't had a chance to do that because of everything that's been going on. We're staying home to keep our family safe. To the other side, the right side of the room, there's a little reading area where there is a comfy chair, some artwork up on the wall, and then these really cute baskets. And then right at the bottom of the chair is there's a magazine rack. So that way I can hold any of those things that I love to sit there and read. And then going back to that artwork and the baskets on the wall, I picked all of these up from Home Goods. I loved this botanical print that was in sketch form. I just thought it was so beautiful. And then it just looks so farmhouse cute with it having these baskets. And then inside the baskets, I tucked in some books and some plants. The carpet has been such a fun treat having it in this room. It feels so nice. Now when you're standing at the window where the chair is and looking off, you can see that there is the living room and the dining room view. And then when you stand from the kitchen, this is the view looking into the office on that side.
Now one of the things I wanted to share really quick was a DIY that I did for the office. I wanted a pin board to go above my desk so I can pin my inspiration and things that I'm working on or notes that I needed to remember and work on that day. So I took this frame that I thrifted from Goodwill and I just popped out the existing artwork that was in it so that I can replace it with some stuff on the inside to be able to turn into a pin board. It's super simple to do. Just pop out the artwork and the glass and you're going to go ahead and pick up that back existing cardboard piece and with some foam cord board from the thrift store I just put two of them together because this frame is really large. You can see here that one foam cord board piece was not going to be large enough for this frame so I used two of them and then I just glued them right to that cardboard that was already from the frame cut off any extra hangover because you don't want that to cause an issue with it going back into the frame and then once that was all nice and glued down and settled I went and took some drop cloth cut that down to size and then pulled it tight as I was hot gluing it down so it had a nice smooth look and then you just cut off the extra fabric make sure there's a little bit of a hangover so that it doesn't pull out on the front side when you put it back together in your frame now I did like the gold frame but I decided that I wanted it to look more of that neutral look so I went with a little bit of a white paint on top of it then once it was dry I went ahead and popped back in that foam core piece that we just made earlier and then just got it all fastened added some hooks to the back of it so that I can put it up on the wall in my office to also complete that farmhouse little bit of a distressed look I went ahead and sanded and roughed it up some and here it is on the wall above my computer desk I love how it turned out it looks so perfect with what we went with I ended up getting these two sconce lights that I put on my wall from Ikea. I just love them there. And then as for my desk, I ordered it from Amazon. I've been getting lots of questions about it. It is not a solid wood desk, but it is a great knockoff to it. And it's sturdy and strong and I absolutely love it. It was super affordable considering how expensive desks can be. I love it. I will make sure I link that down below. The other thing I picked up from Amazon was this chair and oh, friends I love this chair so much I knew I thought it was pretty but I didn't realize how comfortable it was it is so comfortable and so high-end and it was a fantastic price for a chair of this quality as well so again I'll link it down below the other thing I loved about it is that this chair is actually able to be used on carpet because of the wheels and how they're designed and I just loved all the details to it now going inside the desk, let's take a peek. I have this tray that I picked up from Ikea. You're going to see these in the side cabinets as well. I've used a couple of these throughout my storage areas to organize. And one of the things I like to keep in my desk is a little box of Q-tips because I like cleaning my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's super weird but I just love that and so I decided to put that in because we should all make our spaces functional to us the other thing I always keep in here too personally is chapstick I just love chapstick now on top of my desk to the right I have a filing system where I can tuck in my books and things that I use for my YouTube channel here to keep me organized things that are important I like to file away there and then over to the left I decided to use this little tray to corral the phone charger the phone a speaker and then a couple little art things with some pens and pencils I think the coolest thing about this space is that there is a purpose to all of it now everything has a home and then above it I decided to hang up one of my favorite quotes that I found which says expect nothing appreciate everything and it's just a reminder for me to keep working hard stay humble and just stay focused now we're going to look at the storage inside of the cupboards next these storage units came from ikea they are the pack system and i love these things i cannot recommend them enough the coolest thing is that you can really customize them adding in drawers pull out trays now we went with two drawers and shelves and no pullouts because we just wanted to keep it really clean and I just love the way it worked so on the left side I wanted so badly to solve our problem with Chromebooks so I picked up this little basket 
My husband drilled a hole in the back side of this cabinet, ran the cords through it, and now everything is all concealed inside this basket and my kids have a docking system for their cell phones and Chromebooks or Fitbits, whatever they need. I just love this space so much. This is probably my favorite thing in this whole cabinet. And then above that is all their school supplies with pencils. Below that is where I store my new Cricut that I just picked up. I'm going to be using it really soon on my DIY channel. I'll link that channel down below if you're interested and at the end of this video. And then right underneath that there is a pullout drawer that has a whole bunch of office supplies. This is still a work in progress, but I had to stop just so that I can get this video out for you all. I will have a more organized, thorough, detailed video on how I'm organizing all my Cricut stuff, all the office supplies, and I'll let you peek inside of everything. But for now, this is what the left side of the cabinet looks like, and it just makes me so happy when I open this that everything has a home. Over to the right side, there are more storage cute bins, and you can see that it's the exact same layout, two drawers, and at the very bottom down there, you can see that's where I store my printer when I'm not using it. This is also where we store Comet's collar. He doesn't wear it when he's inside the house, except for when we let him go out to roam around the front yard with us. And then this is where I keep all of my most used favorite pins. I love pins. I kind of have an obsession with them. <laughs> and so I like to keep them here where I can just spin this and find what I need. I also like to keep paint brushes up here because Miriam loves to do a lot of art projects upstairs, but my craft room is actually downstairs, but I keep paint brushes, like I said, up here for her. Now this jar, I have a bunch of seasonal pencils inside of it when my kids want to hand out a little treat to a friend and it's cool jar because you can write with chalk on the front. A lot of these still don't have things in them because I'm still, like I said, working on the process of organizing everything in here. So again, that will come very soon. But my theme colors I went with were a really neutral tan color with a lot of blues and woods. The drawer right underneath those baskets, it has some more stuff and I actually like to keep a measuring tape inside of this cabinet because I'm always measuring things and then these are my Pantone books whenever I'm designing things on Adobe and then some more markers because like I said, I have a thing for markers. I also love these drawers because they're soft clothes which is so great. Now here is the overview look of those cupboards. Again, when they're open, they just look so pretty, which is what I was going for. I wanted things to look like they had life, personality, and a home. And then when the doors are closed, it still looks really beautiful. So overall, the room turned out exactly how I wanted it in my head. I'm super happy with it. And I thought I would just give you a couple of snapshots of what the pictures look like because lighting was so tricky this day. We have a lot of wintry type weather outside. All right, the next space I'm gonna be redoing in our home is my husband's workspace downstairs in the basement. He is down there in a very dark, just not pretty space to be or motivated space. And since he's been home, working from home where we're all getting healthy and staying safe with what's going on right now, I have decided that his space needs to be next. So it's gonna get a mini makeover. We're not gonna be touching the floors, but we are gonna be just updating the space so that it's more functional for him and just looks so much nicer. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching this video. And again, thank you to all the girls who teamed up with me this month that worked on their rooms. Don't forget to click on the link down below to the next girl in the hop so you can see how her big reveal turned out. And until the next episode, bye friends.